Hello everyone. Now in this video, we will start with our second method of BDC that is session method. In the previous videos, we talked about the or we did the practical of call transaction method. Now I will come on to session method and after finishing the session method, we will go for full comparison of call transaction and session method. When we started the topic, you are going for call transaction method or you are going for session method, but some steps are same. You have to go for recording. You have to go for file upload logic. These all things are same. You are uploading through call transaction or you are uploading through session method, but these steps are same. Recording, you are file upload logic, everything is same. But now rather than using call transaction method, now we will simply go for the session method. Now, what we will do, rather than writing the whole logic again, what we will do, I will make a copy of this program and I will simply, simply comment the call transaction logic and rather than call transaction logic, we will go for now session method logic. So I will make a copy of this program. Now I will simply write, suppose this is our second program in which we will use session method. I will copy each and everything, copy. I will save it as a local object. Now in this program, we will use the session method of EDC. Everything is same. File upload logic, recording logic, everything will remain the same. Simple, simple. We need to comment this call transaction. If we are commenting the call transaction, in the call transaction, you are using the mess tab internal table. If you commented this logic, it means it, it is also not required. So we are commenting the logic of call transaction. Now, rather than using call transaction, now we will use the session method. We will migrate the materials into SAP now with the help of session method of PDC. Now, whenever you are going for session method, we have three function modules. We will make use of three SAP function modules. What is first function module? BDC underscore open underscore group. The second function module is BDC underscore insert. And the third function module is BDC underscore close underscore group. In the session method, we will use these three SAP function module. Now, we will start with these function modules one by one and we will go for detailed understanding. So I will Firstly, use the first function module, which will be used to open a group. So I will simply, simply go for opening the group. So after you upload, you, after you received your data in the internal table, you can use the SAP function module to open a group. I will go to pattern button and I will pass the function module. Now, we will 
pass the various detail to this function module. So I will simply uncomment exporting. Now, I will firstly uncomment the parameter group. And this is very, very important. You have to give some name to the group and whatever the name you will give to the group, we will see in SM35 later that we have a entry with the same group name. So your group name is very important because whatever the name you will pass, you are opening that particular group. And once we will go to SM35, you will clearly get the whole understanding how you are able to see a group. Suppose I will give the group name, suppose MM01, suppose underscore GRP. I can give any name. Now, after that, I will come on to keep parameter. Suppose as of now, I will pass keep to capital X. You all know capital X means true. You are passing the keep to capital X. It means keep is true. And in the future, we will go for detailed understanding how keep is working. Now, I will go for user and I will give the username. Suppose I will give the username Sai U name. You all know Sai U name is a system variable for the username. It means it will take my username. Now we will uncomment the client also. And in front of client, we are passing a system variable for the client number. So it will automatically take the client number. So what we did, we used the SAP function module BDC open group and we gave the name to the group. This is extremely important. We passed keep to capital X means true. We passed the username by using the system variable of username. We pass the client by number by using the system variable for client number. So now best practices always, always uncomment the exception because if something, if some exception occurred, we can understand that. Now we will go for next part. What is our next part? we have to use the function module BDC underscore insert. In the call transaction method, you used this syntax. You used this syntax. Now we will use BDC underscore insert function module to achieve our requirement. So I will go for pattern. I will use the function module BDC underscore insert. Now, I will uncomment exporting. The process will remain the same. What is the transaction code? What is the transaction code? MM01. In the call transaction method, you passed call transaction transaction code but we are passing the same transaction code, but we are using SAP function module now. Now, in the call transaction method, you used the BDC data internal table, which has the recording steps. Now we will pass the same to same internal table. You can see there is no difference. Process is same. One by one, the record will come into this loop. One by one, record will process. And one by one, the recording 
internal table will fill and we are passing to this function module in the call transaction method also you did the same thing you call that transaction mm01 and you used the bdc data internal table which has the recording steps same thing we are doing we are passing the transaction code and this is our recording steps internal table that's why at the initial level i have not removed the logic i commented so that you can understand and you can compare now i can delete there is no problem i will delete this mess tab logic also now we will go for our third function module so firstly we opened the group we processed each and every record of the legacy using bdc insert function module now we will simply close the group best practices i will uncomment the exceptions of bdc insert also now i will use the third function module i will go for pattern bdc close group and and we will simply simply uncomment the exceptions so what this function module will do it will simply close your group what is the group name mm01 underscore grp so what we learn what we learned in this video we started with our session method of bdc the maximum steps are same we have to go for recording we have to go for file upload these things you have to do in call transaction as well as you have to do in session also in session method you have to use three function module bdc open group to open a group bdc insert to insert all the data and bdc close group to close the group so rather than using the call transaction method we are using the session method now next part we will continue in the next video Thank you.